congratulate all of you who have volunteered to dedicate your life towards this cause, towards this task. We have seen in the past a number of countries who have been able to rapidly develop. And I'd like to encourage you to also learn of maybe Singapore and Malaysia and how they were able to develop as rapidly as they did and not so long ago. I recall myself reading in the 80s about one of the slogans, national slogans, in Singapore, and it struck me at first as being very strange and, and how could people, how could people uh, commit themselves to such a slogan? But the slogan was, as I remembered it, let us endeavor to provide a German quality workforce to a German quality workforce at two thirds of the price. And it struck me, how could I accept that? That I should be working as good as someone else and only accept and be willing to accept two thirds of the, of the pay. But it was one of the slogans. And also more recently in Malaysia, there is the slogan of prosper thy neighbor. Work to prosper thy neighbor. Why should I be working to prosper my neighbor? I should be working for myself. I have, I'm short of many things as it is, and why should I be working to prosper my neighbor? But those countries with those slogans seem to have done well, whether it was in spite of or because of those slogans, they seem to have done well. I want to encourage you and to say that one needs to persevere. I want to encourage you to persevere in your work to improve Guyana, to bring about, to enhance public trust, and social inclusion. I want to say that even though much of the reports on Guyana and much of the history of our last 50, 60 years is one that might indicate, might be read of little, little or no progress, I want to say to you that, again, from experience, experiences, changes often come in the shape of, say, an S-curve. There's often a long period of incubation Many old things have to change, and it takes time to, for people to develop trust. Many new things have to come into place, and there's a long period when it appears that nothing is happening. And then there's a period when there is a break, and things move up rapidly, things improve rapidly, and then there is a period when there is saturation, when all the favorable conditions may have been fully utilized and so on. So one never knows. We may have been on a very long 60 years old or more uh, stagnation period, not, going, not getting anywhere apparently, but hopefully things are getting into place one of such things that may be getting into place is the fact that you have responded to the call to be volunteers and to work towards enhancing public trust and social inclusion in our country. Things may be getting into place. Who knows when the day and the moment will come when 
suddenly things take off. It would have been my hope when I was your age that maybe that moment, the break would have come in my time. All arguments would be that it has not happened. But I would hope that the break will come soon and it will come in your time and that you would have made a great contribution towards it. I think, therefore, I can earnestly, earnestly wish you well and, and say to you again that the challenges may be much greater than going into it. The challenges are much greater. I'd like to say too that in our country we've made great progress. It's not all been bad. We have made great progress. We've started from very different positions or different groups of people and we are much closer together today and the question is closing the remaining gap. I think though the question is not closing the gap as in, 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 in our current way of thinking, the challenge is to, for us all to perceive a, a, a challenge that overarches and then we could contribute to that, lose ourselves in working for that, and then public trust would be, have been greatly enhanced. And we would be all together. There would be no question about inclusions or exclusions. I want to maybe close with some examples that I recall of other countries, other societies facing the challenges, similar challenges. I recall in particular, maybe because China is so much in our consciousness these days, but I recall in the 70s a very big debate on two paths towards development, and one school argued grow rich together, another school argued some must grow rich first. The some must grow rich first school won the debate at that time or were given the uh, given their head that that was adopted that 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 approach was adopted at that time. More recently, there have been calls to enlarge that slogan from "some much must grow rich first" to "some must grow rich first so that they could bring others along." So the challenges we would face in your task of bringing Guyanese together is one that other countries and other societies have been facing. And it's my hope that and my, my best and my wish to you that in your time, in your generation, there would be greater success in bringing our people together as one and in more rapidly growing and developing our country. My best wishes to you. <laughs>